Hello everybody, my name is Eric and you are watching Eric C's channel. Hopefully I can keep your interest a little bit and check out what's coming up in this unboxing. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. So right here you see a box, a very large box. What was in this box? Well, let's find out. This is what was in the box. So it is an ESP, as you can see. And uh, it is a LEC 1000 STBC LTD guitar so I have not opened this thing up yet I've already cut I don't know why I'm moving it around camera around like this but hopefully it's not making you dizzy all right I already cut the box open so let's see Ta -da. all right so what we got here is a very well packaged guitar this guitar came new from Z Zounds. So let's see. Uh oh. Do not use blades to open this. Hmm. Ooh. Another sticker to add to my collection. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. You can see already that they put. Uh, uh, here are the strings that they're putting on these, and that's got a sticker as well. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so they say not to cut this with a razor blade, but let's live dangerously. All right, as you could probably see, it's a little bit like a Les Paul style, no? You know me, I'm a sucker for a Les Paul guitar. I would say they wrapped this pretty well. It's nice to have tools hanging on the wall right there at your disposal. Ooh, rubber bands. Yay! So let's put this camera someplace so I can use both hands to open this baby up. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Small room, don't have to walk very far. All right, let's see here. Prop you guys up right there. Hope you don't mind. First thing in the box is a couple of Allen wrenches. Always nice to have tools. That came off pretty easy. Ooh, using thicker rubber bands. So what we have is LTD Deluxe. Been kind of looking at these. EMG pickups. They never make these fucking things easy to come on these bags. Lots and lots of dust on this thing. Alright, here we go. Check it out first, make sure everything is okay. Now this is supposed to be a, well it's not necessarily a one piece body, that's for sure. It's got one, two, three pieces. It's supposed to be, um, uh, 
what the hell is this supposed to be? God damn it, I can't remember what it's supposed to be. All right, so we got one, two, three pieces of wood. It's supposed to be mahogany, mahogany neck. There is a joint right over here. And uh, as you can see, Les Paul style, quilted maple top. Beautiful binding around the edges, wow. We also carry it into the headstock and into the inlays on the neck. Action height's pretty high at the first fret. This thing has the ESP locking tuners on it. We're very nice. Battery box, so you know these are EMGs. They are uh, supposed to be active and when you see a battery box, most, most of the time they are active. Belly cut, you have cut out right over here for getting in close to the last fret. Locking, uh, <laughs> which is kind of nice, and I wish a lot of these guitars did this too. But the tailpiece and the bridge are locking on these now. Nice bridge, very nice bridge. Although the high E string was not in the saddle correctly. Oh wow. These frets are really done nice on the edges. I believe these are jumbo frets. I don't think that the fretboard is rosewood. But yeah, so that's her. This is it new toy I believe these are EMG's 81 85's very nicely done I have to say beautiful headstock all right so does this have push and pull I doubt it does no nope. knobs turn very very nice so you got two volumes and one tone, three-way switch. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Now I didn't order a case with this one because I have an Epiphone case that I really believe that this will fit in with no problem. <laughs> Action height's not, it's high, but it's not really that high. Like I said, I said a long time ago in my videos, every guitar that you get needs to have a professional setup done to it. Alright, so that's it for now.